can be assigned to a VLAN through static assignment or by the use of conditional policies for dynamic VLAN assignment. Ports in a VLAN share broadcasts. Policies are rules that allow an enterprise network to be dynamically segmented. As devices generate traffic, an administrator can create rules to group those devices into logical subnets or VLANs. For example, all devices in a particular IP subnet can belong to one VLAN while users in other IP subnets belong to different VLANs. In its default configuration, an OmniSwitch has only one VLAN. This is known as the default VLAN. Every port belongs to the default VLAN, or VLAN 1, initially. The port remains in this default VLAN until it is manually placed, or dynamically assigned via a VLAN policy, to another VLAN. A 7000 series OmniSwitch offers a feature known as authenticated VLANs. Authenticated VLANs add increased security to a network by forcing users to log in with a valid username and password. Only upon proper authentication are users able to join any VLANs and have access to the network. Without properly authenticating, user traffic is blocked at the wall jack, effectively locking the user out of the network. A binding VLAN requires end stations to meet a combination of rules, known as binding rules before enrollment into the VLAN is allowed. Failure to meet any one of the parameters of the rule declines enrollment into the VLAN. The six binding rules are based on the following combinations. MAC address plus port plus IP address, MAC plus port, MAC plus IP, MAC plus port plus protocol, port plus protocol, or port plus IP.